Welcome to Uzi Talking 2 with me, Jeff Ollerhead, and Mr. George Gallagher. George Gallagher is the BBC award winning vocalist, singer, entertainer. Way back in 2015, you might have seen him on the screen, but he's here in flesh today. How are you, George? How are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Not the George. I'm good, man. You? I'm good, mate. Brilliant. So, if you don't know George, he's got all the links, which you'll see down below. You want to check him out before we even start. Because he's like, who's he? <laughs> George Gallagher, GG. <laughs> oh, you're well loved in town, by the way. You've, you've entertained uh, <laughs> over, was it uh, like that 10 year period? What did you, you say? Well, yeah, well, that's, to be honest, I started taking it up professionally when, when I was about 15. And I used to go around the clubs and social clubs and that with my dad, of course, because I was never allowed to because I was underage. Uh, and he, he still comes with me now to all the gigs to be honest but he used to come and do all of the mixing gear and that for me and uh, and I just started from there and you sort of grow from there but I was I was working at the time as, as well so your dad was your roadie then yeah. what's your dad's name? dad was roadie yeah Dave Dave, Dave. I met Manager, Dave manager roadie you know always there come on yeah. son you've got this <laughs> Critic. my son my son yeah. I'm proud <laughs> my son Dave so let's tell me let's, let's take it back anyway because we're going to just get a a crescendo as they say yeah. in music so tell me about your school days and what happened in school and stuff well I started off I used to go to a school called St Winifred's in Bootle all my schools were in Bootle and then went, went to St Monica's when I was in year 2 because we moved house okay. and I remember going in year 2 and I was screaming crying my eyes up because I left all my mates in St Winifred's and I had to go and see this new this new territory this new world and I was like whoa what is this and went to St Monica's but Probably the best thing that ever happened to me because it, I ended up meeting friends that are still friends now to this day. We went to that primary school, then we went to secondary school together, Savio High School again in Bootle. Uh, and then we, uh, as I say, the, the teachers used to say to us, you won't be mates forever, you know, we still are now. We still, near enough, every single one of us still keep in contact. So it's a. Uh, so yeah, that was me. It's been all the way, it's it, yeah. I've got yeah. friends from school and you grow up together and watch. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Any, any, any shout outs to the names? Any who's, 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 who's... I've got all my mates, Craig Prescott, Scott Sims, uh, Bradley Off. Yeah, I, I could go on for, I could go on forever. John, Jonathan Kelly, uh, JJ Shedden. Yes, I could, honestly, I could be here all day. There's yeah. that many of us, do you know what I mean? Of course, anyone who's missed that. <laughs> You're close, man, though, because obviously you didn't mention me. Yeah, exactly. Jay Shepard as well, a very old friend of mine. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah. So, uh, look, I mean, obviously the school, so was, was you a good boy in school? I was, you know, yeah. I was all right. I, I, I wasn't wasn't one of these kids that were, like, horrible to teachers and getting expelled and all that, but I was a little... I, I, I used to I used to be want to sign be the class clown, you know what I mean? And that was that was my problem. And my focus levels and my concentration when I was in school were always still is now, were always sort of if it went too fast to teach it, I'd be like, ah, whatever, and end up going on my iPod or something, do you know what I mean? Or start talking at the back of the class. Um, but I loved it. I loved going to school. It was more of a laugh school to me. It's sad people are probably watching that think it's just an idiot, you know what I mean? But I learned more after I left school. Um, and and yeah, so I, I I wouldn't say I was I was naughty, but I was I I, I, yeah. I wasn't great. So look, going on to your skills, because you're a great performer. Do you have that from an early age? Did you ever like get like like a double shake and nativity play? Yeah, what? I was uh, a fun, funny story. To be honest, I was got the obviously done the nativity show um, production. What, <laughs> what part did you? Want? Well, I, I remember doing the auditions. And I don't even know why I went for it because I got this part of Jesus Christ, hey. and I said to the teacher, oh, "No, Miss, that's a um, that's a bit that's a bit too front of stage for me. I, I don't want to do it. Don't want to do it." I remember getting all way. Refused way. Jesus. Refused hey. Jesus. And then she went, "Okay, we'll get another party," and ended up giving me Judas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, is he anti-Christ? <laughs> refused well, Jesus. Well, my mum was like, what? You refused Jesus? What are you, what are you doing, son? My grandma was like, how dare you refuse Jesus? She's a proper religious, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, I got the part of Judas. So Judas. Went, went from Jesus one, one to Judas. Judas the other day, you know what I mean? But the teacher felt like, if you don't want Jesus, you have Judas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Spiteful. Yeah. Spiteful. He's a devil, that kid. <laughs> All right, so moving on to school. Uh, 
from out then you went to the, the big school in Bootle, what was it? Savio, yeah. Savio, yeah. Savio High School, uh, just off near Dunham's Bridge Road, Leatherton Way. Uh, and again there, I got, when, when I first started school, it, I, I used to box, I boxed out at a Tundra um, boxing gym on Lambert Row for years, and I, so I sort of started off musically, I used to dance like Michael Jackson and everything when I was about six, seven, yeah, and the all used to just body pop in front of the telly and everything. And then I went into boxing for about six years. I went down that road and that avenue. Um, and then I think I got to about 14. And I, I think it was my dad saying, you're going to have to sort of try and pick an avenue, what you call that, you know what I mean? Uh, and I, I went just as a laugh, no joke, went as a laugh to, to the drama production in school. We, we were doing a, show, a production of Grease, the musical. And I just went as a laugh and... Um, Got the part of Kanihi. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't Danny. Is that the one with the spots? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had acne as well. Oh, Tate is by Kanihi. Yeah, he's, 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 got, he's got the looks. <laughs> um, hey, Kanihi, yeah. But to be yeah. honest, I used to sing all the time in the rehearsals, like, woo, woo, like, yeah. like that. And the teacher, Chelm, um, she was Chelm Stevenson at the time. She's Chelm Holmes now. Um, one of the only teachers that sort of had, t- had the time of day for me. I think she might have seen a little something in me, do you know what I mean? And she sort of said, why don't you sing Grease Lightning, the song? And I went, isn't it, isn't it Danny's James Lachlan, friend of mine? Yeah. He, he played Danny Zuko. Uh, he got Danny Zuko and he said, why don't you play the... And I said, well, isn't it Danny Zuko? And she said, no, you do it. Anyway, when I'd done that song, I realised I had that sort of... Elvisy, yeah. croon of vibrato, overhead lifters and four barrel cords. You know what I mean? Keep talking, <laughs> boy. <laughs> <laughs> <And> then, <clears throat> I thought it was all right. Yeah. Then, and then, the the and then it, it grew and grew from there and sort of went down that road then of re listening to, to all these sort of songs. I was, I was sort of taught them as a kid when, when, from me, Grant, used to sing all these standards and then. So it sort of went, uh, sort of uh, developed the love for the music, yeah. do you know what I mean? And, and sort of went from there to Jeff, to be honest. That's amazing. I mean, I think it just gave me loads to talk about. I mean, obviously, they're a tonder. Mm. It's obviously the producer's champions like Tony Bell- uh, Bellew and yeah. the Smiths. Massive, uh, massive, Jim. Massive, yeah. It's, uh, I was there. Is that where you learned to move? What you have seen well, on the stage? Might, yeah. might have helped. You know, skipping. Yeah, the balance. Yeah. I uh, actually. Uh, yeah, I didn't half love it, and I thought I was I was good at it. At, at one point, one of the trainers there, John, he trains um, <clears throat> trains for the ABA. He's now in England. He got me on the ring and said, "This is the level you've got to be at if you want to yeah. succeed." I was really, really into it, and my dad used to push me, and um, and then for some reason, it, I got to an age where my mates were going to park drinking, and and I wanted that as well. I wanted to go and stay. Like, so sure, yeah. I wanted that. Like, and I was, the clown comes out. I did, yeah. and I did, and I'm still like that. I'm still a... You know, well, you must have been good because your face look a man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I only had a couple yeah, of... Yeah, I, yeah. I, had them, I had a couple of kids clubs and a yeah. couple of... Uh, couple of uh, amateur, yeah, well, amateur bouts. You were in there. You and, got in there, yeah. Sean. That's what you went to your dad. Like. And I've done, a, yeah. I've done a charity event. Again, for me, mate, Jay Shepard, who just mentioned before, he put on this boxing show for a, a lady called... Uh, I think her name was Sh- yeah, Shannon, who was fighting cancer at the time. And I uh, got the art box and boots back out, didn't I, in the gloves and done a thing. But I, I weighed. When I was a kid, I used to weigh 50 kilograms, 56 kilograms. Yeah. When I was boxing, probably double that now. Yeah, do you sure, know what yeah. I mean? Um, so yeah, I wasn't as light on my feet in the ring this time, do you know what I mean? And I remember in the second round, I was like, I could, I could easily just say, it's the hardest sport in the world, mate, you've got to be ultra fit. Blowing like hooving. Oh, my half. Shook him in. My cousin Daniel and Frankie had. Well, they all smoking in there as well. <laughs> yeah. I didn't Watch. want till half 12 in the night. <laughs> I was waiting there from about at 12 in the afternoon. I was just waiting in the thing, like getting <laughs> on the pads and everything. I was like, oh. oh it's well, crazy, yeah. yeah. It is, it is. But yeah. enjoyable, enjoyable, mate. Enjoyable, is it? A thrill that you, you know. But you've been there, George. Look. I'm diving in, so where, where, where we are, in, you're in school, so you've done a production with Grease back at your music, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how did that go on the stage? Did you like the... the I did. The, the, I, I, sort of, I sort of come into my own very, very quickly, even though I went there as a, 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 as a laugh. Yeah. I, I sort of was enjoying it more and more and more. And I remember we were ad-libbing on stage and, everything, and even at, at that young age when we, when we were forgetting our lines, and that, we were sort of ad-libbing and... 
And I was like, yeah, I'm alright at this. And then I just sort You're of went from there. <laughs> You're an It went man. from there and then and my, it was yeah. my dad. My dad used to really say, come on and sing. I, I remember we used to set the gear up in the living room, like the PA equipment. And yeah. I used to say, oh, let this song today, dad, and all. And he used to sit there like Simon Carl going, that's all right, son, needs a bit of work. <laughs> <on." laughs> and put shows on in the living room. I was, I was, I was. And, and, and yeah, yeah they, 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 they were... So on, your, on your bullet points, you used to go to the match as well, didn't you? Love the, love the blues, mate. Like you, Jeff, so, like yeah. you mate. Like you. Up, 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 up and down, yeah. like a yo-yo club at the minute. Well, that's it. We have the cross to bear, you know. Yeah. But that, that, that proves a character. Listen, yourself, I think we're, we're, we're massively on the improving on the rise oh, with yeah. Carlo. I wouldn't like, you know, he's probably the, the best manager we're ever going to have. Yeah. In terms of credentials and, and merit, merit. So you and know what he's done, yeah. exactly. So you know, it's it's all good. It's all good. Not, not maybe, we'll see tonight when we play Man City. Man City tonight, yeah. <laughs> Don't play you know, like we did last week. I might be yeah. weird later on, but we'll see. We'll see. It's just good, and it's it's fun. Was your dad a blue? Was he? Dad's a massive blue. Yeah. Used to go home and away, uh, and to Rotterdam yeah. and Wembley and all that in the eighties. Yeah. What was your your, your most memorable match? You always say for the you know an episode. Did you know what? Even though we lost, Goals, yeah. Go even though we lost, um, I, I, it, I always say this. I feel like I repeat myself. I, I don't know if you remember. We played Fiorentina at home. Okay, we got beat two yeah. 0 Sorry, we, we won two 0 but but we won on but we lost on the night because it um, we lost on penalties. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> goal, yeah. yeah, but the atmosphere in the ground that night was just. It's unbelievable like not an experience shivers up your day it was and I had to score yeah. it was like wow, I was in the glass I ended up about four or five rows down I was on my own yeah. and uh, I was on the telly as well that night just sitting there for about ten minutes on the screen yeah the, the camera come over to me I was just sitting there like nearly in tears I was like how have we just bossed your and off the park and just being beat on pennies and I think he would have won that that year because Zenit Zenit St. Petersburg they won it that year 2008 okay. And uh, we beat them at home. We beat them. We should have been about three or four nil. But yeah, that was. I was lucky because I'm a bit older than you. Yeah, not that, not that much. I went to the you know the the Bayern Munich mm. the, the game. And, three one. Yeah, I was like, and I, I was on the telly on that as well. Yeah, I took a picture on my Twitter. Said, Look, it's me there. Come off the thing. Brilliant. Was you there for the um, when we stayed up? 3-2 no, against the... No, well, Wimbledon. Wimbledon. No, well, yeah. uh, you know what? When, uh, what's his name? Uh, Graeme Stewart. Yeah, Graeme Stewart, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, there you go, when we stayed up. Yeah, yeah. Who was talking about? You watch all these threads go, when we stayed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where you talking? Yeah. Listen, the bands are flows anyway, because yeah. you're a right, great city, and that's what it's about. Right. Um, just want to let you know, anyway. Well, listen, stand by for part two, yeah? When we go into George's music. Take it easy. Mm-hmm.